Today's warm temperatures, it's hard to believe Wisconsin's so-called heating season begins in just a few days. And the way many choose to heat part or all of the homes is dangerous, possibly even illegal. So to talk about staying warm, we are joined by Jim Gambin from the Social Development Commission and Valerie Jenkins from Community Advocates. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Tom. All right, before we talk about what to do, let's talk about what not to do. What are some of the ways that people are heating their homes that can be very dangerous? Uh, using a, a gas stove is obviously not a, a good thing to do, or charcoal, or um, space heaters that aren't properly uh, wired. Those are all hazards. And is this a problem in our community? Yes, it is. Unfortunately, during the, mor during the moratorium, um, when heating costs can be high, um, sometimes customers choose to use uh, heat their homes through these different types of methods. And you don't have to go this route. There are options out there if you can't afford your bills. What is the message on that? Well, the message is to get your application in um, starting October 1st. Uh, we're open for business accepting applications. So what kind of assistance is available out there? It's called energy assistance and it's a one-time financial benefit towards the heating and electric costs for homes. Um, and customers can apply anytime between October 1st and May 15th to kind of help alleviate some of that cost of their heating. So how does that work? Do you turn in your, your energy bill and they give you a credit based on what you typically pay? Yes, customers would need to come into the office to apply for the assistance. We look at various factors, their previous three months income, um, they need to be, bring in a photo ID, their social security numbers, and a current utility bill. And what energy assistance does is it looks at the household size, income, and usage, and factors of benefit based off that. And Jim, a lot of people have trouble making ends meet. What, who is eligible for this assistance? Actually, the, um, the income guidelines, I think, are, are very uh, liberal. So uh, we have as many as 40,000 uh, el eligible applicants every year. The second phase is the weatherization program. This is uh, the attempt to make the homes more energy efficient for those uh, beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there any, I think there's another program you mentioned, an assistance, in addition to energy assistance that yes. people may be eligible for? Th that's weatherization okay. and the emergency furnace program. All right. Okay, well, Valerie, Jim, thanks so much for coming in this morning. And you, get, you said folks can start signing up October 1st. That's correct. Okay, all right. It is important information. Stay safe when heating your homes this winter. If you would like more information, log on to our website, tmj4.com, and click on links. Let's take a quick look at tonight's prime.